Hi guys, today we'd like to talk to you about female sexuality, female roles in the relationship. Uh, I will share with you uh, my knowledge about what type of woman men, uh, most men desire and um, how to become that woman. I will um, share with you four archetypes or four roles that every woman has but unfortunately sometimes we ignore one or sometimes even two roles in our life and focus too much on the other we will talk about the mother role the little girl role the businesswoman and the sexy slut role in a relationship and all four of those roles are important in order to be the best woman for your man in order to be happy in order to be healthy sexy and successful as a woman as a wife as a mother as a girlfriend and i will show you how those roles uh, can benefit the relationship and i will show you how those roles can bring the argument fight and break uh, the relationship and um, mm, if you have any questions, any comments, please uh, write them below. I will be happy to answer uh, those questions. And if you don't know me, my name is Elena Semenek. I'm a psychologist, online psychologist. I'm the founder of Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. So uh, all my contact information will be below. Let's start talking about the female sexuality and what type of a woman any man desires the first role is a mother role or mother archetype and a mother in a relationship is a woman who knows how to take care of her man and this is very important because a man wants to be with a woman who can support him who can um, take care of him who can uh, create a nice atmosphere at home who will uh, feel his uh, mood uh, who knows how to behave when a man is tired, who knows what to say to make him feel good, who knows how to give love and care towards her man. And uh, this is the benefit of this role. Uh, this is why we need to be a mother sometimes in a relationship. But the negative aspect of the mother role is control a mother she likes to control she is the one who is responsible for everything she likes to take responsibility uh, she likes to become above the man like a leader of the family and she likes to tell everybody how they should live their life um, she likes to treat her man like a little baby and um, as a result she is the one who's making money she is the one who is in charge of everything and in um, when a woman takes this role as a pri primary role then he cannot even feel himself uh, free in the relationship he uh, feels like he always uh, does something wrong and when he makes a mistake it's like uh, the end of the world she is um, judging him she is bugging him she is controlling him and at the end those relationship usually don't last long and the man can say something like you are great you're beautiful I know you love me I know you care about me I know you do a lot for me and for for our relationship this is not about you this is something about me so in those relationships men usually don't understand why he does not have desires towards this woman when when uh they met he uh was in love with her but when she is taking too much of a role of a mother a man gradually loses his interest towards uh, a mother towards a woman who's playing the mother role and every day uh, she is becoming more and more controlling and loving uh, like uh, the person who's trying to get you in her arms and not let you move or behave the way the way you want it there is no spontaneous um, decisions there is it's those relationships are heavy it's um, everything should be in order everything should be in specific 
direction and a mother she cannot be sexy because she needs to control she needs to um, take care of everything she does not have time to be sexy she cannot relax and in order to be sexy you have to be relaxed so this is the negative aspect of a mother the second role or the second type or archetype that we women like to wear is a little girl and let's talk about why this is important, why we need this role. Because little girl is the one who is at ease, who brings joy, who loves a lot, who, who is easygoing, who always see the bright side in any situation. And she usually attracts a rich man. Why? Because a rich man, the man who is in high social status, he has a lot of responsibility in his life. He has to make uh, important decisions. So his life is all about tension, competition, fighting in this uh, world of money, world of success. And he loves to be with a woman who brings joy, who brings happiness. Uh, also, if a woman is playing too much of a little girl, then at some time the man will leave her. Because a little girl, she cannot give uh, support, she cannot give uh, care, she cannot give love. As the mother, as we discussed before, the mother knows how to take care of the man. So when a man is tired, the little girl, she does not know how to react. She will uh, continue love, she will continue be playful and at some point a man will say, listen, like uh, I'm tired right now, I need some time for myself. Can you please calm down? Can you please just relax and just sit with next to me and maybe just talk to me? Uh, also, a little girl, she likes to play drama. She's, uh, she, her mood can change suddenly she uh, will play a victim role she will be pity and she will say like oh like why you're not happy uh what is this about you came home and i'm blah 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 and it's gonna be a lot of emotions a lot of drama so a little girl will play her role in the relationship as a little girl and at some point a man will say stop like why why are you making big deal out of this why are you acting this way? And again, if we're going back to sexuality, a little girl, she is sexy outside, but she does not know how to be sexy inside. And um, it means that she likes to wear pink clothes. She likes to um, look feminine. But when it comes to sex, she does not know how to give joy, how to give pleasure, how to receive pleasure. She is a little girl, so she knows how to flirt. She knows how to get attention from men. But when it comes to passion, to feeling your man, to experience the pleasure in intimate relationship, for her, she does not know what is it. She does not know how to react. She cannot, she probably will freeze or she will try to limit uh, the sex life in a relationship. The third role is a businesswoman. And this is very important role for any woman. And a lot of women, they ignore this role. This, the positive aspect of a business woman is that she is confident. She knows what she wants. She is not afraid of responsibilities and um, she is not like a mother. The difference between the mother and the businesswoman that the mother likes to control everybody. Uh, a businesswoman likes to put goals, likes to reach those goals. She likes to overcome challenges. It's not uh, about control. It's more about um, what she wants and about her self-esteem she knows how to make money she usually lives in a expensive neighborhood she drives a good car she lives high quality life and she expects a lot from herself and she expects a lot of from others she is looking for a strong man in her life 
And the positive aspect of a businesswoman is that she knows how to respect men's world because she is a businesswoman. She knows how hard it might be. She knows how challenging it might be. And she respects a lot of men's qualities like goal-oriented, uh, ability to um, compete, ability to stay for your rights, ability to overcome challenges, to go through fears. So she knows a lot about men's world and she is a great team player. She is a great body. She is a great business partner. But when it comes to a relationship, uh, usually she is lonely because she likes to be in charge. She likes to be a leader and she is looking for somebody who is even stronger than her. So in a relationship, she often competes with her men and those this competition at some point might be attracted, but only for a short period of time. Because after some time, a man uh, don't want to compete. He wants to feel relaxed. He wants to feel happy. He wants to feel love, care, and support. Uh, maybe at the beginning of the relationship, a man will like the competition. It will bring some spice in their relationship. But within time, he will look for somebody who is more feminine, more kind, more gentle, who can be vulnerable. And businesswoman, for her, it's extremely hard to be vulnerable because she is used to uh, protect herself. She is used to be strong. She knows how to put her emotions and her feelings aside. And um, she might be, again, a great body, a great friend, but in a relationship, she might be lonely. And the fourth role in a relationship is a sexy slut. Again, a lot of women are ignoring specifically this role. A sexy slut, she is the benefits, right? Uh, she is the one who knows herself, who knows her body, who is in contact with her body, who knows how to be sexy, who knows how to flirt with the man. She knows how to give pleasure and how to receive pleasure. She feels uh, great and confident about her sexuality. When she see, uh, sees that the man likes her or interested in her, she knows how to react. She can play, she can flirt, and she can bring the spice into relationship. And a lot of men love it. A lot of men um, are missing specifically sexy slut uh, part of a woman in a relationship. Why? Because if a woman plays too much in this role or puts this role as a priority, then she cannot be a caring mother, she cannot be a little girl, and she cannot be a businesswoman. Uh, so a slut, she's always in this sexy outfit, on high heels, red lips, and it's very hard to be a caring mother when you're wearing a sexy outfit or it's very hard to be a business lady when you're wearing uh, like a flirty dress or red lips because there are specific expectations from the society. What do you want in the business settings? A lot of time this um, sexy slut woman is lonely because men do not see her as a mother for their children. They do not see her as a wife. They do not see her as a friend. They use her for sexual pleasure. So the secret to female sexuality, the secret to happy relationship is to integrate those four roles within yourself. Usually a woman can take two roles as a primary, third one as a supportive and completely ignore the fourth one. And you probably saw uh, such woman, for example, um, a woman who is playing mother little girl. At one point she's controlling, she wants to be in charge and at another uh, time she's like, oh, I don't know anything, uh, why are you, she's gonna play a victim role, like why are you putting this on me, why do I have to do everything, why are you so um, 
angry with me why are you so this why why and why and then the next morning she will be controlling she will say okay you cannot do anything uh, i will take care of this i cannot rely on you or another one for example a business lady and sexy slut this woman she is confident she knows how to be sexy it's like sexy business lady but at the same time she's lonely because she likes to control, she likes to seduce, but when it comes to care, to love, to support, this part is missing. Um, for example, um, little girl sexy slut. This is a woman who will wear pink uh, clothes, who will wear bright clothes, some furry clothes, and she will uh, seduce men, she will use her body, she will uh, flirt a lot, she will be laughing, she will be playful, she will bring like a lot of fun and joy into the relationship. But again, she cannot take responsibility. She cannot be responsible even for her own actions. And she absolutely um, does not have an idea how to be caring, loving and supportive. When it comes to time when a man need somebody on his side not for sex not for joy but just somebody who will understand him and who will take care of him maybe when he's sick and this woman she will want only to play or to have sex then at some point the man will feel that something is missing uh, so again all those four roles are important and in order to feel great about yourself, to feel great as a wife, as a girlfriend, as a mother, uh, you need to integrate all those four roles. Uh, then uh, your man will admire you even more, will appreciate and value you even more, and he will be proud to be with you. And again, the secret is to integrate all those four qualities. And it's not that easy and you will need to practice because you develop your behavior patterns for years. There are specific exercises that you can do, uh, exercise how to, how to develop, how to bring uh, the missing role into your life and exercise how to integrate those four roles. This is what I offer at my um, private sessions and in my group workshops and uh, webinars we do specific exercises and they help uh, women to overcome challenges and I help women to see how those roles are integrating in their lives. So if you would like to come to my private sessions I will leave all the contact information below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, help me to promote this channel because when I see your comments, when I see your likes, when I see your questions, and it motivates me and I would like to create more and share more with you. If you find this video helpful, please click like, subscribe and share. Share your questions, share your comments, share it with your girlfriends on your social media, on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your Twitter. Um, help me to promote this channel. I really need your help and I will really appreciate it. Uh, and of course, thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Mm -hmm.